Hi everyone, Kevin C. from Santa Rosa Junior College here with Wine Ma Making Basics Part 3. Today we're going to talk about skin contact. So remember in Part 1 we talked about the basic winemaking process and we said that when we ferment red wines we do so in contact with the skins. We crush the grapes, we keep the skins and the juice in contact during fermentation and we press the finished wine away from the skins after fermentation. So the winemaker has various choices for skin contact. So think about what happens. Grapes arrive at the winery and we will destem those grapes typically and maybe crush the berries, maybe not. We discussed that in part two. We'll start the fermentation. At some point the fermentation will finish. And then, in the case of red wines, we will press the finished wine away from the skins. So, throughout this process, skins are in contact with juice and or wine. The first decision a winemaker makes is whether to cold soak the juice in contact with the skins. So what this means is prior to the start of fermentation, so fermentation starts here, Sorry, can't draw straight lines here on this little tablet. Um, the fermentation starts there. Prior to that, the winemaker can choose to, to take the crushed grapes and keep them in contact with the juice. Typically, grapes are, and the juice and, and the skins are kept cold at this point in order that you don't get any microbial spoilage, any bacteria or yeast that start being active and spoil the grapes. So you'll typically throw in dry ice into that mix of juice and skins. The dr dry ice is frozen CO2. When it evaporates, that CO2 will coat the grapes to keep oxygen away, coat the grapes with CO2 with, with a gas that's, that microbes will not use to, um, uh, to, to, do, to, to do some spoilage. And then the dry ice also cools down that mix to keep down spoilage as well. During cold soak, the winemaker is looking for certain color to be extracted from the skins. Color, it turns out, dissolves better in water than it does in alcohol. So color comes out of the skins at this point into the juice because the juice is just water, no alcohol yet. The winemaker may also be looking for certain flavors to come out during cold soak that may differ from the flavors that come out later in the process. The winemaker may be looking for mouthfeel as well. And again, I apologize that I cannot write very well on this tablet, but mouthfeel as well. So that's cold soak. That's the first choice the winemaker makes. Do they want to do cold soak or not? Cold soak is, is frequently done with Pinot Noir. Once fermentation starts, then the fermentation is going to be in contact with the skins. And at this point, ethanol is going to be increasing as the yeast takes sugar and produce ethanol. So as ethanol increases, you'll get increasing extraction of different compounds from the skin, especially those compounds that dissolve readily in ethanol. You also, during fermentation, get heat produced by yeast, and that will increase extraction from the skins. It helps to break down the, the, the cell walls in the skins, and heat will increase any chemical reactions that are happening in the, in the, in the um, fermentation and that'll help your extraction. So you'll get different uh, flavors, different impact on mouthfeel, etc. during fermentation with skins. The winemaker could choose at the end of fermentation or even before fermentation is complete to go ahead and press the juice or actually the wine at this point away from the skins. The winemaker can also, at the end of fermentation, choose to do extended maceration. And what that means, maceration is contact between the skins and the juice or the wine. At this point, extended maceration refers to keeping the finished wine in contact with the skins after fermentation is complete. And winemakers often do this with Cabernet Sauvignon. They will look for, during that extended maceration, for the tannins that are extracted from the skins to often polymerize, meaning the small tannins will, will join together and make longer tannins, which tend to have a softer mouthfeel. 
So winemakers will monitor the wine probably daily during extended maceration and they'll be looking for softening of tannins, they'll be looking for a flavor profile and a mouthfeel that they, they like and that they're targeting for that wine. When they get that profile, then they will go ahead and press the wine away from the skins. Now the skins are done with the process. You have a nice wine. Hopefully it's delicious. And these are winemaker choices having to do with skin contact. So thanks for watching everybody. Appreciate it. Again, a little plug for Santa Rosa Junior College Introduction to Enology Wine 3. Check out that link if you're interested in a hybrid class which has online lectures and labs on four Saturdays. Thanks again and we'll see you in the next one.